All right, guys, so there's what happened here on the camera. <clears throat> Thought it was working, and it was not working, so I apologize, guys. So you're kind of missing out on a lot of this, but what we're doing here is we're going to look over the property before, um, as we start the job, kind of walk doing a walkthrough of what's happening here. Um, starting over here with this flower bed here, uh, looking at this where everything's going to be weeded out, uh, and then rocks put in um, the uh, bed there. Um, it's pretty simple there on that, just weeding and then adding rock. Um, coming around to the other side, we're going to take a look at the front of the house here where the barberries are overgrown. The front bed is in bad shape, needs to be weeded out, needs to be leveled. Um, towards the garage here, has got a like, canal area there up front by the house. We've got monkey grass added in here that needs to come out along with just matter of other grasses and stuff that have grown in. Cleaned up and then we're going to replant in that area. And then all the shrubs here. I've got to be weeded, uh, weeded out and then the uh, trimmed up. That one's going to be cut in half on that one there. It's really overgrown. Um, trimming that back. The crepe myrtle is going to be all the dead. is going to be taken out of it and kind of cut back on that. And then just some general weeding at all, all the areas, all the beds. Um, got to weed out that area there where the flagstone is. All right, guys, this is the back of the house here. Uh, I do apologize about the background noise. If you guys are hearing anything at the moment, uh, it's the 4th of July weekend. People are going crazy with fireworks, so that's kind of what we got going on. But uh, I'm just pointing out here the spireas about how we were originally going to take those out, um, but they actually started to actually come in really nice. So I was just going to leave those. That area here in the back here, we got an overgrown tree. Um, this bed over here is just a general weeding job with rock added in in that area. Um, just right through there. And we're going to spin around here. We're going to look at this area here where it's really overgrown. That tree is way overgrown. We're going to take that and get rid of that. The barber can be trimmed up. There's actually shrubs behind there that need to be trimmed too. And over here in this small bed is just general weeding. And then we're actually going to add a, an Alberta spruce back into that area there. Kind of clean it up, make it look good. And then we're going to swing through this gate here. Make our way back to their side. And all we're doing here is just really just cleaning this up. You know, the hydrangea there, you see all the dead stuff that's in there. We're going to remove all of that. Um, go over here, get all that dead stuff that's out of there, and the flower bed's out. Um, that Crip Myrtle is going to clean up a little bit, and then come over to the other side. Um, we're leaving that Japanese maple alone. Coming over here, we're getting rid of all the stuff to the left there, where I'm kind of waving at there. Um, now all that stuff's come out and getting cleaned out completely, nothing being added back in on that area there. Because, um, like I said, this guy's selling his house, so, I mean, we got to get this cleaned up and get it looking nice for him for this job. Back here, this is in horrible shape. Um, we're going to clean all this out and then come back in and redo it all uh, with adding a couple, uh, one uh, Alberta spruce and a couple ornamental grasses and then clean it all out, add some more rock. So, I mean, overall, uh, this job here, it's uh, kind of a big job for one guy to do, but uh, it's going to be just me on this project. Uh, so, this is the before video here. It will be followed by the after video showing you after I'm done or basically almost done with this. Um, so that's kind of the story behind this. Like I said, I apologize about the uh, sound not working, but uh, that's why I'm doing a narration on this one, guys. All right, guys, we are finished with this job here on this landscape job. Uh, for the most part, there's just a little bit of stuff we have to do, but I want to show you guys the uh, before and after so you guys can kind of see the before part of the video. Here's the after part. So here's what we got, guys. Put all new rock in here. Trim back this barberry here. We got four sky hollies going in here, so they're right there. Re rock this whole area. We're going to put a fountain in here and I'm going to have the uh, guys kind of figure out what they're going to do with this sprinkler system because it's all sorts of screwed up. So that's still to be done. But the fountain's going to go right in here. Four sky hollies got the two boxwoods there. Had to level this area out. They had a tree here. And what happened was they grounded it down, but they didn't ground it down very well. So I had to kind of re level this, re rock this whole area. Back over here, we got this barberry here. I just got a few nips and tucks I still got to make on this, but other than that, it's all done. Barbaria there is all trimmed up. We got the uh, shrubs on the house. That one came way down. It was way up here. It is down there now. Got that trained up crepe myrtle. This one was out of control. I had to really hack that one down um, to where it wasn't looking all silly. Uh, back along here, we just kind of weeded these uh, flower beds out here all the way back. The hydrangeas there, I kind of had to cut out a bunch of dead stuff that was in there. So that one's all good. And then over here, sorry about the daylight guys. It's about 6 p.m lighting on this uh, we put in some bowling ball bushes um, as you'll see before they had the uh, nasty grass and stuff just all over the place in here so I had to go and weed all this out and then put in these bowling ball bushes here 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 so those are now in over here I, this is some of the stuff I still have to do but we had to come in and weed all this bit this bed out here um, all through here this whole entire thing and we weeded the whole thing out I have to come back in with about three quarters of the yard of 
uh, rock. Half that rock's going here. The other half is being spot filled in different spots around the house. So that's the front, guys. There's kind of a shot of it. You know, the after job here. And it'll, like I said, it'll all be done here on this. Let's go back over this way. Let's go to the backyard, guys. Overall, I got about uh, 14 and a half hours into this job. I did it by myself. I didn't have any help on this job. I'm supposed to have a helper, but like I said, you know, when you have a helper, they're sometimes unreliable and sometimes they just don't stick around. So it is what it is. Hang on one sec. Sorry about that, guys. So this one was all me. All right, let's start back with this bed back here. We just felt to load this with the uh, Skag 36 Liberty. With those uh, high lip blades, looked an amazing cut, guys. Really nice cut on this after putting those high lift blades on. So this is the after on this. I still got to come in, kind of spot fill some rock in here around where we planted all these at. But I got the uh, Alberta spruce, mini Alberta spruce. Got two of the, the, the hormonal grasses put in here. And basically what I did was I just redesigned this to come up with the exact same way it was. Just cleaned out all the nasty stuff in it, put in nice new stuff, cleaned it up, make it look simple, easy, and a, you know just easy fix. This guy is selling this house, so that's why we're doing this. We're just cleaning it up so it goes on the market, looks nice, and sells quickly. Cleaned up all back through here. Got all this stuff cleaned up. This hydrangea back here, I came in, clipped out all the dead stuff that was in it. Cleaned it all up. It's looking good. It's got some blooms coming in now, so it'll be nice and pretty. All right, let's go on this gate over here, guys. All right, back here, cleaned all this out. Still got a spot filled. A little bit of rock here and there. Another miniature Alberta spruce planted here just for something to have some substance in this bed. Uh, so you figure it's going to get, you know, yay tall and uh, it'll look nice when it's all grown in. This over here just kind of had to weed it out a little bit, adding some more rock into here. Not much, just a little bit. And here's the after on this one, guys. This one really cleaned up nice back here. This tree was way overgrown. It's really looking good now. Barberry's trimmed back. You can actually see the shrubs now back that were here, back in here. So that's all cleaned up. Uh, more rock going back in here. Just spot filling a few spots. Not much back here, but a little bit of rocks. I mean, just a little bit of touch up left and this job is complete. And then this stretch here, guys, um, what I did on this is uh, I put in, I believe they're called Pokemo uh, Crepe Myrtles. They only get about three by three or two by three. I kind of filled it in. Like I said, we were going to get rid of these Spireas because they weren't looking real good, but they've actually came back pretty decently. So we went ahead and left them and just trimmed them up. So I have, what I did is I split it. So I put some more substance in the bed as far as making it look nice. So we have two of those there, a couple of Spirea, and then two more of those Crepe Myrtles down here and just kind of filled it in so it kind of has a nice flow to it as you come down kind of like that uh, not much just a little bit of spot fill rock here and that's it so that's the job guys that's the uh after of that landscape job i did um i think it turned out well um, this was my design on this it was pretty much as you can tell a mess so i kind of came up with all the ideas on the plants where to put them how to put them and this is the end result of it so I do enjoy doing this type of work, guys. It is a lot of fun for me. So um, that's kind of it, guys. That's the job. Let's take a look at out in the street again, you know, from like out here, so you guys can get more of a better view of the front here. I do apologize about the uh, lighting, but they cleaned up really, really, really nice. Uh, when those grow in over here, it's gonna be nice. Those get about six foot tall. Yeah, that's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, it's something a little bit different from mowing or me talking about stuff. So uh, if you liked the video, guys, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe, guys. We appreciate it. Thanks.